Not a small river or channel, but a man-made canal connecting the two seas together. With the help of this stair-shaped canal, marine ships move over the mountains. Flowing about 85 feet above sea level, this strange canal unites the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In the 19th century, the French began this process of creating waterways. Although it failed then, success came in the 20th century. The marvel of technology seen in the face of light is the Panama Canal Project. In 1881, on the territory of Panama, France began digging the canal. Forested and in inaccessible hilly areas are earmarked for canal digging. The French diplomat de Lesseps Jean built the Suez Canal. He was also responsible for the construction of the Panama Canal at first. However, he realized his mistake when he found out that the Panama Canal did not have the same geographical environment as the Suez Canal. Panama Canal region was surrounded by tropical rainforest. Apart from this, the temperature there used to reach up to 40 degrees in summer. But like the Suez Canal, there was not a flat waterway. Yet Ferdinand de Lesseps thought it possible to build a sea-level canal here. But his workers weren't ready for this work. When the rainy season came, the workers started facing a lot of difficulty in working. The machines started rusting, and also thousands of workers started dying due to diseases like malaria and yellow fever. After losing $287 million and the death of 22,000 workers, the Panama Canal's work collapsed. And work in the project ceased in May 1998. Later, the project was sold to the USA. In 1904, the digging of the Panama Canal began under the direct management of the United States. Instead of cutting mountains, engineers began to work on how to lift ships. It was built after 10 years of excavation work, and its excavation ended on the 4th of May 1914. About 77 kilometers long and 300 to 500 feet wide, this canal is a unique example of the technological excellence of the time. At the same time, it is the only lock-based elevated canal in the world. To enter the Panama Canal, several artificial reservoirs were constructed to allow ships. The water level of reservoirs is controlled through locks or sluices. Ships are towed by powerful cranes called newels on both sides of the canal. An important construction of the Panama Canal project was Gatun Lake. Through the lock, the ships are raised in steps from sea level to Gatun Lake, at 85 feet high. Each lock chamber is 1,000 feet long and 110 feet wide. Each lock has two gates 85 feet wide and 82 feet high. Each of the metal doors is 7 foot thick and weighs about 700 tons. By opening or closing these doors during ship movement, the water level is made navigable. On August 15, 1914, the first ship officially entered the Panama Canal. The Panama Railroad Company's ship was named SS Ancon. To navigate the Panama Canal, ships must be wide, from 106 to 160 feet. To enter the Pacific Ocean from the Atlantic through the Panama Canal, it takes about 10 hours for a ship. More than 15,000 ships pass through this long man-made waterway annually. On average, 36 ships cross the Panama Canal every day. And also a high rate of toll has to be paid for crossing the canal. From this sector, more than $3 billion goes to Panama. The Panama Canal is a testament to human ambition, perseverance, and the power of innovation. Who knows what engineering marvels the future holds? Maybe one day we'll see similar canals on Mars.